learn two different methods for finding the length of the arc when you're given the radius and the central angle. I'm going to show you two different formulas. The first formula here, what you want to do is you want to look at the circumference, which is 2 pi r. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by the fraction of the whole circumference. And that fraction here is going to be 150 degrees divided by the whole circle, which is represented by 360 degrees. So that fraction times the circumference, which is 2 pi times 10 centimeters, is going to give you this arc length right here. Now, the other way to do it is to use the formula that involves uh, s equals r theta, where s is the arc length, r is the radius, and theta is the central angle. But here, theta, the central angle, has to be in radians. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this 150 degrees into radians okay, by multiplying by pi over 180. So this is our conversion factor. There's uh, 180 degrees for every pi radians. So now if we multiply this, which is the central angle times the radius, which is 10 centimeters, that's going to give us our arc length. So let's go ahead and simplify both of these. I'll just show you that you get the same answer for both. Uh, here you can see what we have. We can reduce this by dividing by 10. Uh, 3 goes in here 5 times. 3 goes in here 12 times. And this comes out to 20 pi. And now you can see that uh, we can reduce this further. 2 goes in here 6 times. 2 goes in here 10. 2 goes in here 3, 2 goes in here 5. So we're getting 25 pi over 3 centimeters. That's the length of this arc, and that's an exact answer. If you want, you can put 3.14 in you know, and get a decimal approximation. Same thing over here. You can see we can reduce, divide these both by 10. Uh, 3 goes in here 5 times, and 3 goes in here 6 times. And uh, 2 goes in here 3 times, 2 goes in here 5 times. So we have the same thing, 25 pi over 3 centimeters. Again, that's the length of the arc. Now, if you want to see using a proportion, which is my preferred method actually for finding these arc lengths, follow me over to this video right here, and I'll show you that technique.